So I'm gonna cut straight to the point. This video is gonna give you six winter outfit ideas that are Pinterest inspired. Now, if you don't know what Pinterest is, go check it out and thank me later. But the struggle comes in when you can't find those exact pieces or similar styles on Indian websites. But that's where I come in and I do that job for you. So this video is gonna give you six ways to look chic this winter and know exactly where to shop those looks from. So the first outfit is the one with a shacket and this is the hero piece of this outfit in case you're wondering what a shack it is it is a mix of a shirt and a jacket so it looks like a shirt but it is really warm just like a nice jacket i got this from h&m now i've kept the outfit neutral underneath so i'm wearing these corduroy trousers from h&m the turtleneck is from marks and spencer and the jacket is from h&m now i couldn't find the exact lavender color jacket that she's wearing in the picture but this is a great pop of color to your neutral outfit altogether also, if you notice, if you're trying to go for a neutral monochrome look, you don't always have to wear the exact same color. So my turtle like is slightly darker beige than my pants, but it goes really well together because it's the same color palette. If you guys want a detailed video on how to match colors or pair monochrome outfits, let me know in the comments down below and I will do that for you guys as well. But to complete this outfit, there's also a white bag this is a tote bag this is from Birkenstock and I'm also wearing white sneakers which are from Adidas and this is a complete outfit all the links to these pieces will be in the description box for you guys I'm also going to add some extra similar product links just in case you know something doesn't fit your budget you have an alternative and uh, yeah let's move on to the next one next outfit is my favorite winter outfit which is styling a skirt with high high boots, stockings and an overcoat. The Pinterest image is pretty much similar. She is wearing a tweed skirt. Now I already had a black skirt so I didn't want to go ahead and purchase another skirt but I'm going to link it down below for you guys. If you don't have any skirts and you want a tweed skirt you will find the link down below. Because I already had this black skirt it's pretty much the same style of outfit just a different skirt. Now the overcoat is from Zara. And I feel like they have these category of overcoats which are pretty like budget friendly. Like overcoats are expensive if you're gonna buy a good quality one, but this was for about 3000 something which I think is a good price for the quality and also lasts very long they have multiple colors in this talking about the skirts it's from H&M the turtleneck that I'm wearing is from Uniqlo it's the heat tech technology and I absolutely love it it keeps you so so warm so please check that out stockings are from Mark and Spencer love their stockings tie high boots are from H&M I've had this for a while but I'll give you alternative options in the description box and this is how the outfit is like the vibe is very Parisian very French and obviously she's it with a black uh, handbag and so have I and uh, tell me in the comments how you like this one I've also done a video on different types of boots and what you should pair it with so do check that out I'm going to link it down below for you guys apart from that I've also done different types of jackets that are perfect for winters or that you should know about during winter season so do check those two videos out they're super helpful it's in my playlist which is called fashion deep dive and of course I'm going to link it down below for you guys Next up is another skirt outfit, but this is something that's a little out of my comfort zone. I wouldn't say comfort zone, but not something I'd wear in winters to be honest. But when I saw this on Pinterest, I was like, I have got to try this. And it turned out pretty well. It is a nice colorful skirt. So winters doesn't always have to be like grays and blacks and whites. It's good to sort of play around with a little bit of more color. And this midi skirt is just perfect. In the image, she is wearing something black with floral golden work on it. But I think this is just as good. I've also added a belt just like she has in the photo. It's from Dressberry along with a white t-shirt. And this is actually again from Uniqlo. It is the heat tech material which is absolutely amazing and you got to have it in your thermal wear collection in fact you it's not even like thermal i can wear it as just one layer itself and then the same coat from zara i've paired it along with this as well the skirt is actually for marks and spencer and i was surprised that marks and spencer has such like nice girly feminine stuff usually i see like very office going stuff there so i was pretty happy the quality is amazing the fit is really nice as well and the boots again are the same from hrm you will see me repeat a lot of my pieces in different outfits that's because i like to buy things that i can wear again and again and i always recommend that to you guys as well but out of 10 let me know how much would you rate this outfit 
This next outfit I have fallen in love with how it's turned out. I'm wearing this sweater vest from this brand called Street Nine, paired with black pants from Forever New and the same Uniqlo heat tech turtleneck, and carrying a black sling along with me, just like the photo. Now I am so surprised with this sweater vest. I've tried a lot in the past. And they're either too short, too long, they don't have the perfect v-neck or the perfect fit. But this is so good and the quality is also so good and affordable as well, of course. The boots in this outfit, I've changed them up. These are no longer for leather, but this is suede. I feel like this outfit is perfect for office wear or college. Like the perfect mix of chic and profession and minimal because it's literally like a black outfit and you just add in this beige sweater vest on it. I personally love this. Of course, these are just outfit ideas. You can play around with the colors. You can probably do like white pants, white little neck and then a sweater vest which could be black in color, beige in color, pink in color. So these are like skeletons of your outfit ideas and then you can play around with the different pieces in it. This outfit is more of a casual vibe. It's a very simple outfit. You've got a striped cardigan sweater, which is a zip up cardigan. I got this from Mango and it's available on Mintra. The jeans that I'm wearing are your regular black jeans, which are mid rise and are also wide leg. I got these from Zara, but tons of them are available on Mitra and you will find the links for that. But I feel like skinny jeans is just not my scene anymore. I want to be comfortable in the jeans that I'm wearing, so wide leg is the way to go for me. I have paired this with boots for this outfit, but obviously in the picture, she's wearing sneakers, Converse sneakers to be specific. I don't have them, uh, but you can obviously wear any other sneakers that you'd like with it or the boots that I'm wearing. And this is the last outfit. Now I'm wearing a sweater dress paired with stockings and combat boots. Now I've added an extra layer with this overcoat, but you can also just not wear it at all and maybe just hold it in your hand or wear it completely as you wish. I kind of like the sweater dress as is but for that extra protection during winters, uh, I've added this layer just for like the style quotient of it. But I actually really like the outfit otherwise. I'm not a fan of sweater dresses usually because they don't really accentuate my body shape or my body type. But this one I actually really like. This is from Zara. It may have gotten out of stock, but I went down to Mintra and I did find some similar sweater dresses, which you will find in the description box. These combat boots are actually very affordable from a brand called Delis. They were just for like under 1000 rupees, so I think that's a great purchase. I haven't worn them for a very long time, so I don't know how comfortable they are, but for the couple of hours that I want them, they feel pretty comfortable to be in. And this is the same coat that I have in black, just a different color. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and will take away something from this. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more winter outfit ideas. These are specifically from Pinterest that I picked up, but I do want to do more winter essentials and a capsule wardrobe for winter sort of videos for you guys. Let me know what you want to watch first and I will see you guys in my next video.